Today's symposium is one small way in which libraries and the San Jose State High School are trying to address equity, diversity, and inclusion in our society and field today. Librarianship is, continues to be predominantly a white profession. I think we're still at about 80% white. So in an effort to fit in, sometimes we may hesitate to bring in our personal experiences to our work. But your difference is what makes you an asset to the profession. So a few weeks ago, I sent out an email to the reform of this serve asking if one needs to share with me what they have been doing to try to address the digital divide for the Latinx community. So Multnomah County Library, Oregon, provided classes in parking lots, in parks, or community centers and churches and community organizations that share a space to provide classes and many times are offered in Spanish. Our technology lending program loans out Chromebooks and other hotspots for six months and there's no fees for damages or stolen devices. And I know that fees, it deters certain communities from using the services from Denver Public Library. They provide one-to-one -one appointments based on services to the communities and they help the people apply for affordable connectivity programs or for free or low cost internet at home. They find free or low cost devices. They also provide ongoing one-to-one -one education. I think uh, the communities, they want to feel welcomed. They need to feel represented, listened to and served. Know that the libraries care about their issues. They you know, f and find ways to support their issues and interests. In the academic scene, we are dealing with uh, food insecurity, housing insecurity, and we have other issues that, that, are, that impact our students. And so we as service professionals need to be able to, to bring that compassion, that uh, ability to empathize with people. You know, growing up, it was because of those few library professionals who spoke the languages that we spoke at home that we were able to get connected to the right resources. So it's really important to make sure that in recruitments, you really emphasize um, that you're looking for Spanish speakers, people who have uh, experience in cultural programming and services, because that is really where everything will fall into place. I've met with um children of immigrants and a lot of times they don't know our histories and so i think it's important for us uh to uh you know educate or to provide education that offers that kind of background that kind of history because it's part of the roots and i think they will it's important for everyone for every student to know oh okay so this is what i'm part of get involved with organizations like Reforma um, and even other organizations. I'm involved with the American Association of Law Libraries or Latin Latinx Caucus, they just renamed it. Um, CLA has a Latino services uh, special uh, interest group and others, and it doesn't have to be library even. I'm involved with the uh, United States Hispanic Chamber of Commerce. I'm involved with the LA Latino Chamber of Commerce. So even other organizations where you might find opportunities I think all of us as librarians, we can you know, bring along a friend, bring along a buddy and introduce them to these, these spaces and um, places where they can get those informal or even formal uh, mentor or internship opportunities.